Hi everybody. Hi everybody. Hi everyone. Hi. Yeah, so. Today is the 2nd of April. Let's start there. And it started out like any other day. Not quite. Gerald had a headache. Yeah, I didn't sleep well. Headache woke me up like 4 a.m. So he had a headache, which probably was because of what we're just about to tell you. He had some sort of premonition. I was, I think we both were stressed. We, so we, we saw the news reports yesterday that a crane had fallen on the ship we are supposed to take. The Oasis of the Seas. We were supposed to be on a transatlantic crossing on April 21st and, and get off in Barcelona. Take it, pick it up in Orlando on the 21st and get off in Barcelona on May 5th. And that's what our plans have been for this holiday. Um, then we saw the reports yesterday, which was not an April Fool's joke, that a crane in the Bahamas had fallen into the ship. We kind of were like, you know, went on the boards, looked at, looked to see what everyone was saying. That that cruise was scheduled to leave Miami on Sunday, and those people were freaking out. Um, so they were the most active. And there were two cruises. There's a cruise on Sunday. There's a cruise the next Sunday, and then there's our cruise. So we thought, surely, since we're three out, surely it'll be fixed. And let's make this long story short, it wasn't fixed. It wasn't fixed, they canceled all three next cruises, the three next cruises for the ship. They're taking the ship directly to Cadiz, Spain for dry dock. Um, no passengers will be on it. I mean, I think we would have said, okay, we'll go, we'll go to Cadiz. <laughs> the we issue could, is an engine problem, so the only place it can be fixed is Cadiz. So yeah, it's probably gonna limp there and they just didn't want the uh, so, liability. Long story short, they're gonna <laughs> refund us 100% of what we paid, which, yeah, I would expect that. And then they're gonna give us uh, credit for a future cruise, 100% of the amount that our cruise was. So we, and? Get, we get a free cruise out of it in the future and we get our money back for what we paid. <laughs> Um, but it leaves us in a kind of a, what do we do? Because we have, this we also, was only well, half of our vacation. We this, also get airline. We're getting reimbursed up to $200 per airline ticket. If you booked through them, which we did not. Oh, I thought it was all. Oh. to see. Yeah, the airline thing is negligible for us. We did, uh. we used miles and, you know, it's a one-way ticket because we thought we were just flying home. Um, so anyway, long story short, this was only half of our holiday. The other half was going to start once we got to Barcelona. So we have, you know, two weeks planned after we got there. And now we have to figure out what are we going to do? Because we also had a little Universal Orlando weekend oh, with right. the Mercer plan before we got on the cruise. So that is all booked and paid for. Are those tickets refundable? The no, those were No, those were mile <laughs> rewards. I, I don't think I'll be able to get any kind of mileage reward back. So universal passes were paid for by mileage reward. The airfare was using redeeming miles to get to Orlando. Um, the hotel isn't. I mean, but the Mercer's, I mean, so I think we will still do the universal thing. The, the trick will be what do we do in the two weeks that we would have been at sea? How do we get to Europe? Where do we go right. in Europe? So to get to Europe, we're gonna to have to, and we're gonna talk this out. We're just about to go on our walk and we're gonna kind of talk it through. This is, you guys are the, almost the first to hear of it. <laughs> this is pretty new. Um, yeah, so we're sort of kind of playing around with the idea of maybe going to Germany uh, for that two-week period. But we got to talk about this. It We have to get from Orlando to Germany instead of DFW to Germany. And it, I, I mean, right. but it's Orlando. That The good thing is, although Orlando is a, 
well, I think of it as a smaller place. The airport is not small. It's an There's international lots. airport. There's yeah, lots of I mean, international flights. So, we, the, yeah, that could actually work out. You see the Lodge guys <laughs> flying from Manchester to Orlando. How much guys? So, <laughs> they're in Florida now enjoying. I think there's probably their last week. But, yeah, figuring we, out. We have trip insurance. And the good thing is we have trip insurance for the first. So, we... This was the first time we've ever purchased trip insurance because it was going to be a very complicated multi-city so this... trip. So we could cancel the whole thing. And um, no, well, it, the insurance is only for up to. And I have to double check this because it's been. I think what did I say? Fifteen hundred per person. I think that's the max. Mm. And we have. I have to double check. I, in fact, I probably will call them uh, just just to make sure. Um, to see, make sure that it covers a mechanical failure. In any event, I I think we'll be okay. I think we're still planning on. <laughs> we um, are still planning. We're going, going somewhere. On holiday. Um, if I have to go and just we had talked many sit about in a many, comfort inn, I will go. We had talked about many places. Um, if this fell through last night, like Italy, we love mm. Italy. It's a beautiful time to go there. Um, Accidents happen. Life gives you lemons, make lemonade. So we are about to discuss how we're going to make lemonade. Where's Gerald? Did, out of where this. is that? Where's Gerald? And you know, it might work Gerald? out in our favor because we might. We're going to have to think out of the box. So we might. This may be a more fantastic vacation than we had initially <laughs> planned. I don't. <laughs> I just saw, that's what I'm thinking. So we'll check back in with you once we have figured out what we're going to do. And we'll go from there. No bon voyage. And I'm wearing the wrong shirt, by the way. Dang it. Hey, everybody. Hello. We're outside today. It's a beautiful day. And we actually have pretty stuff behind us. You want to look at the pretty stuff? Oh, you don't mean me? <laughs> <laughs> the flowers are all in bloom. We're just about to head over to Callaway's to uh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? To get something for the pot. Uh, we always make it nice and spring, springy this time of year. So we're about to go over there. We need to get going because they close at seven and it's about five o'clock. So last time we spoke, it was a dark time. We had just discovered that our cruise had been canceled. Our cruise from uh, Cape Canaveral, or Canaveral, Florida to Barcelona. Um, so we needed to figure out what we wanted to do. So uh, that was our transatlantic crossing that we wanted to try and not this time. Yeah, we thought we were so clever. Oh, instead of flying, how about we use a ship to get from the United States to Europe? Oh, that's a good idea. But what happens if the ship doesn't sail? So we found out. Well, Royal Caribbean, uh, just real fast, Royal Caribbean gave us a, um, a refund. They are actually, they're still working on it. This is, they haven't given us anything yet. Um, basically we got a free cruise out of it and we get our whatever we paid we get back. We haven't seen it yet. We were supposed to get it yesterday. Um, so I'm sure they're working through the thousands of refunds they have to issue to various... It's, it's stressful though. Various... It, I mean, it wasn't just that it canceled our cruise which we really wanted to go on. Um, it it just threw our plans. It, it just really complicated things. We were using the cruise for logistics and the logistics just got very complicated. Right. Um, we had to figure out how to, if we were gonna do Orlando and then how we're gonna get, what, we, what were we gonna do for two weeks after our Orlando portion? And were we gonna continue on to uh, Paris and, and Trier? Um, so that was a little, stre that was very stressful. We decided, okay, let's extend the Orlando since we have extra time now. So we talked to the Mercer. Mercer was willing to extend it by a couple of days. So um, that's what we decided to do. So Orlando's still on. Uh, we're going to fly home after that. And then we're going to fly to Paris when we originally were supposed to be in Paris. In uh, May. And then 
we said, what are we going to do with this cruise credit that we had to use within one year time period? Cruise had to be completed within one year. So we found uh, a couple cruises out of Galveston and we're just going to do back to backs, uh, which the total is 14 days. So that's the same length of the cruise we would have been on crossing the Atlantic. So we it's got about, our cruise anyway. It's a little more. So the credit cover more than covers one cruise. We could have gone on one cruise we would have left over that we would have lost. So I thought, well, well let's do the other one. It, I think it probably pays for what? 85 percent 90 percent 90 percent more so than yeah we're gonna yeah. owe probably oh, a little bit but well with the tips and stuff we're probably gonna owe uh, about 700 ish yeah. dollars for 14 nights but it's for 14 nights so, and, and it's galveston's were, and it's close so we'll just drive there we don't have to worry about airfare no we'll airfare drive there and then um and I've it's even, a back to back we don't we don't have to change rooms. We have the same room for both cruises. And surprisingly, it's the same ship, but it has two different, it has a different itinerary for the second the second part of the cruise. So we won't see the same ports, which didn't matter to us. We we'll didn't see care. one. One's the same. Well, one is the same. Cozumel's, Cozumel's the, same. the same. But uh, yeah. So we'll get some um, more uh, lizards and turtles maybe for our maybe backyard. Maybe Cozumel. Who knows? Because we don't have air, we can get as much as we want. And That's just right. throw it in the car. That's right. We can get all kinds of cheap stuff in Mexico. Load up shopping. Yay. Uh, We're looking forward to it. So it'll uh, we'll get our cruise, our 14 nights on the water this year. And we get our mini vacations um, in Orlando and then Paris. Yeah. And, and we have something Trier. to look forward to. Like in October, this is, we're in April now. and. We have two big vacations coming up shortly, uh, but then we have the whole summer with, you know, and now we have October. We have something out in October to look forward to, which is the cruise, which is, it's a different kind of vacation, you know, than going to Paris. It's, it's, oh, wow, it's, much it's, more it's, relaxing. So it's totally something to look forward to. It should be nice and warm, and although October here is really pretty it's nice, nice anyway, <laughs> so nice. it doesn't matter, but yeah, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. You know, I, I would prefer to have kept the original trip. For sure. If I could have, I would have, but that just wasn't wasn't meant to wasn't be. Wasn't meant to be. And we got we got a nice little We got a bonus good outfit, so. We got two vacations out of this deal. This is not a bad it's a good deal. It's all good. Oh and I just called my dad. <gasps> Yeah, you didn't know that. I just called my dad and, and let, I call Padre. I call my dad Padre. I call Padre and let him know that uh, what the cruises were because he might want to go. He lives up in Wichita, Kansas, and he he's a, he lives in a retirement community and he loves to go on cruises. He loves. Um, we were actually talking about this. Um, prior to our cruise being canceled. Right. We, we should try to find one out of Galveston um, that Padre could go on right. uh, at the same time as us. So, But he, his deal is, is his wife died a few years, uh, uh, four years ago, and so he's a single. And so getting, it, it's just more expensive. It's more difficult for a single to get on a cruise. I, I wanted to let him know though, because I think that there's a chance that he might be able to swing it somehow. He might just decide to, you know, pay for double occupancy or whatever. And these, who knows? These cruises were not that expensive, so. Oh no. We have decided to end the video in front of. Oh no. Oh no. Turtle. The turtle. Um, yeah, hope this never happens to you. It was a nightmare. It was pretty bad, not fun, but it's all well, over hopefully now. Hopefully, everything will work out. Seems like it's going to. Yeah, all right, let's end this. All right. Thanks, bye. bye.